Hi everybody, it's uh, Rob from the Chateau de la Griffre, uh, and welcome to season four, episode six. Now we've been making some really long videos and so we're trying to do a little better at keeping them short. And so we wanted to do one midweek, but it's the end of the day on Wednesday, it's about 7.30 and we just finished working and I just got out of the shower and, uh, and we just realized we didn't do an intro or a conclusion and Leslie's like, ah, I'm not going on camera. So, so she's with Mr. Bingley and uh, you got, you're stuck with me. We want to show you what we've been doing this week. Lots of fun stuff. Uh, we've been entitled this vide video uh, "Time versus Body" because it sort of felt like we got five weeks till the students get here, and we're, we've got four rooms we're trying to do, and so we're trying real hard to push to get them done. And uh, and then, but but you know your body starts to wear out, and and so Leslie's been feeling quite a bit of pain with her hands as she's been painting so much, and, and it's always feeling that, you know, how much do you risk yourself as well? We had a couple kind of dangerous situations a little bit. And so you'll see those too. Uh, and and uh, we hope you enjoy the video. Really good news. On Sunday, we're gonna upload uh, the London bathroom. We're pretty much finished today. We pretty much finished. And uh, so we'll have all that stuff ready to go for Sunday. So that should be a great video. We've been keeping we've been keeping uh, video for more than a year on that. I've got a file folder with the whole process. So we'll start how, with how terrible it was and we'll end up with the beautiful bathroom that it is going to be. So uh, Sunday. Look forward to it. Thanks for watching this video, enjoy. Monday morning, uh, ready to get at her. We've got the roofers coming at 11.30 to talk to us, so it'll be interesting to see what they have to say. I just let Bingley out, and then I noticed after I let him out that there was a pheasant sitting right there by that pile of sticks, and Bingley ran right by him. So uh, score one for the pheasant's camouflage. We will, get this fe we will get these pheasants on camera sometime. They're really cool, but uh, not this morning, it seems. Excited about today. We're gonna to start on the shower, finally. So it'll be great to see that thing start to go up. Also gonna get some paint on the trim and our electrical conduit. Leslie says I need to spray paint the electrical conduit because regular paint will peel right off. So we'll get that ready. And then we've got a mirror that we're gonna hang on the wall. Um, the electrical conduit, the trim will run, the trim will run right above the tile. And then we'll put that electrical, the black electrical conduit over top. Then we'll run it up behind the mirror and then the, the sconce will go right up. The sconce will go right at the top of the mirror. So it should be nice and hidden and uh, it should be a good day of progress. I found myself sleeping uneasily last night and, and I, a little bit apprehensive this morning. We have the roofers coming over and normally we do really well with trades. Leslie works with trades all the time so she has a good relationship. We always pursue it as if we want a win-win. Like we want them uh, to, you know, we want this experience to be good for them. We want them to make money and we want it to be a reasonable price. So, you know, we're doing okay as well. So that, that strategy has worked really well in the past and we've, we've had good experiences. Whenever you start to deal with a lot of money, like when we built our house in Oregon, you just get nervous because there's so much that feels out of your control. And with this roof, the scope of this roof, close to 300,000 American, uh, 281,000 euro, it's a huge roof, it's an expensive project. We've paid for almost a third already. And uh, and you just get nervous. You're nervous that maybe there's gonna be hidden costs come in or the numbers are gonna change. We just don't have a lot of relationship yet. And so, um, and maybe I'm just an apprehensive person as part of it too. But, uh, so, hope it goes well today. Uh, prayers appreciated. And, and and we'll do the best we can and we'll be honest and, and try, we'll try to get past the language barrier and the trust from everything. We've read a lot of reviews and they get really good reviews and people have appreciated their work and they seem like good guys. So, you know, once we have some history, I'm sure it'll be, it'll be better, but we'll try to figure it out today. Rob's out opening the gate. We're waiting for the roofer guys to come. They wanted to come chat and coincidentally, it works out perfectly because we also wanted to chat uh, about a couple of things before they start and uh, We'll wait and see what happens. Hopefully it's nothing crazy that we didn't expect or something like that. So gates open and <laughs> we're all taking video on the other end. Funny. The gates are open, ready for our roofing friends. You know, I was thinking about it earlier. I was talking about some of the anxiety involved and uh, and I think part of it is just being in another country, you know, like you kind of understand the systems in your own country. Don't you love the stables? Talk about another roof that needs to get done. But that one we can maybe do ourselves. Not very high. It's uh, asphalt shingles, which I know how to do. 
So someday we'll get that done. But this is the big one. This is the big complicated roof that protects the, the entire investment. Yeah, no, I think, I think you're more nervous when you're not in your own country. Um, it's just something about you don't know the language and you don't know the systems. And you, to some extent, you don't know the costs. Many people have recommended and we, to go out and get several estimates. And we did get a few estimates. So we had kind of a, um, we had a kind of an idea what it was gonna cost. And in fact, uh, our previous owner also gave us some estimates. So we, we're in the ballpark for sure. And we've read the reviews. We had a friend that was uh, visiting, helping us out, a couple friends, and um, they told us an expression. They were expats, or at least um, she's an expat, and and apparently there's an expression sometimes used, uh, and it's hopefully this is not offensive, but it's um, the expression is they took me for an American, as in um, they thought that I was a foreigner, and so they could charge me more. Which, you know, you can understand. Tour I think that's a global phenomenon. People take advantage of tourists, maybe. And, and so it's, you know, when people come and they see the chateau, they think, oh. Uh, and they know that we're sort of from America, even though we're Canadian. And they think, oh, these guys maybe have money. We can jack up the price. So that makes you wary. Um, I, I do think they're giving us a, a fair deal. And, and so hopefully we'll have a good meeting today. And I'll give you a report after. But it is sure exciting to be able to have this roof done and know that it's protected for another hundred years. So we just had, we just had a great meeting with the roofers. We did. Um, tell me about it, Les. What I'm trying to get the chateau too here, the beautiful chateau. <laughs> come on. Away from me. I know, but you, so it went. It went better than expected. It, it as well great. as could have gone. What you happened? Know, we wanted to touch base with them because we had a few questions about some of the hatches and. Um, some other details that we weren't able to talk to in person before we left and uh, so but they contacted us first which was great but then you're kind of worried going is there something we don't know are they gonna add something yeah. or add more expenses or I don't know something and uh, but overall it was just they had another one of their supervisors that wanted to come see and yeah. Uh, they answered all our other questions to exactly what we would have want them to answer. And it was and, fantastic. And some great developments. Of course, a uh, guarantee, which is fantastic. 50 year guarantee against rain and, and for the yeah. shingles. So that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, uh, also, they talked a little bit more about what's included, which is great. And it was all good stuff. Mm -hmm. Plus, the best this is news. the There's two pieces of best news. Go ahead. Well, I think one of the best pieces of information that we didn't know was that they're not actually using scaffolding and they're not going to cover the whole, like sometimes you see buildings here, they'll cover the whole building so you can't see it at all. Um, they're not going to do that. They're going to use what we call cherry pickers. Uh, and they sell, yeah. um, which is fantastic news so that when our students are here, they can still be part of the house and yeah. everything. They'll, they'll be deposits of places where they're going to throw old tile and stuff like that. But we have enough um, land that, that shouldn't get into, you know, any way of anything and so. we compromise on the start date we're going to start in may which is great because then we get this thing fixed but also the yeah. students get to enjoy the complete beauty of the chateau for uh -huh. you know a few days and then yeah. and then it's just a nacelle so it's not that ugly and the other thing i thought was great was one of the foremans is a lady which is fantastic yeah it was funny so if we understood that correctly the very first time they came uh the one guy came and then a, another um, lady had come with him and um she was lovely i don't know that it's her Oh, that's what he said. No, I don't think so. I think she was saying the other lady came when we were gone in February. Well, in any case, uh, she she Maybe. said she loved the house. She was excited. Okay. And so, Maybe that's true. Um, I mean, I'm ex we're excited. I don't know. And, and again, nothing against men. Men are great too, but women have just a sense of beauty and a. She'll she'll appreciate. A, she'll Although, appreciate the beauty of the chateau. These guys are great. We sat in the salle à manger in the dining room, yeah. and um, and that's with the hand painted ceiling and stuff. Yeah. That's incredible. That's original. Uh, with the old monograms and stuff and they definitely appreciated that uh, so it's fun when people from here appreciate yeah. what we appreciate We're too preserving the patrimony exactly because this chateau will be yeah. will be standing long yeah long after we're dead and gone well let's hope so and so we uh we want to do our part to keep it great so really exciting day nothing to be stressed about my uh, anxiety was all for naught <laughs> <laughs> back to the shower haircut just walking back to the car. Don't you love some of that cool stuff? Beautiful flowers, flowering hedge. And the cool trimming of the, the trees. To say nothing of the interesting real estate. And then that, that beautiful lady right there. 
Well, I was sure Mr. Bingley was going to go run to greet his mother. But apparently he's otherwise involved. Progress, progress. You know, it's good to get the shower in. Uh, it's not in yet, but we're, we're working on it. And also mirrors coming, so that'll be fun. Although, I gotta be honest, I miss the open air. I loved seeing more of the toilet. You know, it's a little harder to see it now. You kind of, I guess you can kind of see it from over here still. And, uh, and around, but yeah. We'll, get the, we'll finish getting this guy in. We'll put the faucet in, really cool faucet from Ikea. And then the mirror and the electrical. Really good progress today. Monday's been really effective. Leslie and I uh, just got back. We went out and had a, a celebration dinner uh, for the good meeting with the roofers. I got my haircut. It's kind of nice to get my haircut. Getting pretty white. Getting pretty white. But uh, uh, no, it's been a good day. Also, this is interesting. A couple of you have mentioned on YouTube, and I just got off the phone with a friend, uh, one of our board members, who said, hey, those leaning trees are really dangerous. Widow makers. Uh, and I, I know that others on YouTube had, had said the same thing. So, um, uh, yeah, I, I was thinking about it, and me not dying is is a big part of our strategic plan. So probably, so uh, as much as I want to cut it down myself, uh, hearing the good warning from friends, I, you know, I may have to try to talk to somebody in the area who's got some expertise. At least they get it down to the ground, right? Then we can cut it up, and we can do all the manual labor. The, you know, I can do the simple work, but the smart work that keeps you from dying will maybe get someone else to do that. So this is one of our favorite brocants. I was there the other day buying some beds and we took them outside in pouring rain and they wouldn't fit in the car. We have a new car this year that we rented and it's not quite as big. So they were very kind as they have been regularly to drop these off because they had another shipment of pieces going over to a town close by. So that was so kind of them. Um, and I also grabbed a few extra chairs because we'll need those when we have more students coming to visit. Very exciting. So we found two beds for the boys or for somewhere. Um, it looks like they were painted at some point, which is a bit of a bummer to be honest, but we're gonna go with that whole shabby look. Uh, and let it go downstairs. I kind of was looking for a wood toned bed for the boys room But you know what beggars can't be choosers. I found beds. It's yeah, good. and these are a reasonable hundred each uh, uh, I think it was like 110 90 for both Nin 90 for both well, for both beds 90 each. It might have been 90. Yeah, each. that's pretty good I think it was 90. And they're good sized beds. They're a little bit bigger, which I think is nice and we also, also snagged eight couple. chairs Yeah, so there's only six you can see here but eight of them which is great because we have a big group and we have um Need a little more seating. Any day I get to work with the saws is a good day. And we're trimming out the uh, London bathroom. And so uh, we, Leslie has already painted these pieces of trim this morning. We have three of them, gonna be more than enough. And uh, they're, I think, dry enough to cut, I hope. But we might put another coat on it anyways. And so we got the measurements and we're gonna use the old saw, cut her up. And oh, it's fun to see this project coming together. This room is dirty. I really should spend a couple days organizing and cleaning up but it's one of those things it's kind of like you only have so much time you have so many things to do so i'm just working with the dirty right now someday we'll get it organized that's a beauty that's a beauty there's a lot of things that make a job enjoyable like having the right tools and even something as simple as knowing what to do. You know, if you know what to do, it's just so much more fun than when you're just trying to figure out if you're right or if you're wrong. Having two hands also makes the job more enjoyable, but I want to get some of this on camera. Painting trim for the bathroom, unless they already put a coat on, but just touching up a second coat. So lots of fine tuning when you do a shower and lots of like magnetic connections. That's well, kind of cool, baseboard piece. Again, this is freestanding, which Probably wouldn't have been our choice if it wasn't already there, but got a couple of brackets, so it makes it nice and strong. And uh, the design's gonna be beauty. Well, it's Tuesday and uh, we did a lot of work. I did a lot of work in the London bathroom this week and uh, today and just came up a couple, against a couple things. You know, we finished the shower, which is great. Now it needs to be caulked, but it was still super dirty. So I had to wash it, then it's wet. So it has to dry off before you 
put the caulking on. Uh, also put the uh, shower head in, but um, one of the pipes leaks a little bit. So it's Ikea, we'll try to figure out that. I'm sitting back here in what may someday be, it used to be I think a train stop when it was Holly Park. And then of course the two pools in front. And I uh, was getting tired and so I rewarded myself with some dry, some mowing. I spent a couple hours out mowing. Sometimes when you don't feel like working, you can at least find a job that you kind of like and then that's not so bad. Then you go back to work. Uh, normally, I, you know, the pools, I don't know if, if they're the nicest looking thing on the property. But I did see this the other day when I was taking those pictures, the videos. I was thinking, it is kind of cool when you just see the f white fence like that. And the chateau, that looks pretty cool, eh? Let's see if we can get the good shot here. Maybe when we back it up a little bit so we get the trees on the both corners. Yeah, it's framed so nicely. Of course, right now, there's no leaves on those trees on the right, so that's even nicer when those come in. But yeah, it's a good day. We got lots done. Leslie's working really hard in the in the in the basement for the GA suites. She's almost done the stenciling and the painting. She doesn't want to show anything now until we're ready to do the room reveal. So you're gonna have to be patient. But she's she's making it look awesome. She's tired. Her hand hurts. Uh, we're you know we're getting a little older, but uh, her spirit just wants to work and work and work. I on the other hand would be happy to sit down for a while. But uh, we got to get some stuff done. So we got lots done, and and we're making good progress. Uh, we're, we're, uh, I won't keep doing these marathon videos, so we'll try to get like a 20 or 30 minute video out, and we'll probably put it out on, probably you're watching this on Wednesday, uh, so then we can do two a week and, and not have them too long. Yeah, that was my spot. Notice we still have a pile of oak wood that fell the other year, and Tanner, uh, one of our GAs from last year, cleaned up a bunch of it, and I think Isaac. Uh, Amy's boyfriend also did some work on it, but it's still here. So if I had a day, I would just come out and, you know, continue to saw and maybe even, you know, have like a bit of a, a bonfire kind of thing. Not all at once, right? Because you, you want to be safe, but it'd be nice to clean this area up. This is so beautiful with the oaks once they come out. They haven't come out yet, but it looks like maybe they're getting ready to start. I, uh, I like to call this area, the Ents are going to Isengard. For all you Lord of the Rings fans. So you all remember the dark cavernous hole that we have in this old little toilet that we've been kind of interested in keeping. It's working, which is great, but I had to figure out how to get the misery down there clean. So I did a little research online and found, let's shut this, um, something called a puma stone toilet cleaner. They say that it is supposed to take care of all such things. So let's take a look. This is what it looks like. It's pretty big actually. Oh, we need to take the plastic off. Hang on. All right, well, there it is. Let's give this thing a go. They say it doesn't hurt anything or scratch anything. You know, you might actually be doing something. I'm gonna give this a go for a couple of minutes, just paying attention with two hands, and I'll get back to you. Okay, time for the over flush. This is the corner of the sports court, the closest to the chateau corner. You see tennis court at one point, although we'll use it for futsal, for soccer, hockey someday, basketball for sure. It looks like you could play basketball now, I think. I can't wait to get the rest of it clean. Um, there's also kind of a fun little uh, path that goes through the forest over to the, the village gate. So what I'll do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you on it. I'll probably turn off the audio because uh, you don't wanna hear the mower, but here we go.
Well, that probably wasn't the smoothest ride. Uh, it turns out these uh, zero turn uh, two handed units are not great for trying to film and drive with one hand. <laughs> well, this is nice. Uh, we had some friends, fellow Chateau owners who said they saw something that, that's been really helpful to them that they thought would be nice for us. And so they sent it to us. Uh -huh. And here it is. I know, I'm that's terribly I'm curious. curious <laughs> from Mr. Brico Lodge. Oh, it's Ooh, a nice a letter. Note. Cool. Oh, that's great. Well, uh, yeah, there we go. What in the world? Oh, oh, wow. Let's Ooh, see. it's a big light. Oh. It's a torch. That Look at that. Is helpful. Ooh, that's very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Next time we go into the cave, we'll, uh, we'll be. Well, this the basement huge. even. Huge. Look at this. Oh, wow. This is cool. Oh, that is cool. Wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're right. We love it. <laughs> I think I'm going to stand too. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, look oh at my that. goodness. Let's try it tonight and see what it, what it does on the house even. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play the house with it. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's good. Thank you very much. So just for the fun of it, we figured we'd shoot the uh, that new bright light onto the chateau to see what it looks like. That looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool, eh? I mean, in some ways it'd be fun to see the outside too, but I wonder what that looks like from the road. Nice. That's kind of fun too. I do think it'd be better to have two lights, one from each side, then you catch some of the contour. And you, you definitely lose the roof, which uh, the roof is so beautiful, of course. Incidentally, super spooky out here, like the animals. Shone the light around and just like brruh, 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 lots of movement, lots of action. So we made some noise to scare them off. Yeah, cool. All right, Wednesday, lots of work, lots of work to do. Great progress. Can't show you everything, but I'm showing you a bunch. Got a leak, got a leak, a little leak right about there in this IKEA fix. You're going to figure that out. Uh, looks like Leslie got the toilet clean. Incredible, incredible. That device and I tried to cock this and we got one of the leaks, but there's still a second one. Look at this guy right here. Yeah. So it only it only leaks when it's flushing, so it's not terrible. It's not like a consistent leak, but we gotta fix that. So I'll I'll probably drain all the water out of this guy and then I guess you wouldn't want that while you were sitting down, eh? <laughs> You're flushing it and the water's hitting you. No, we'll we'll get it fixed. We'll get it fixed. Boy, why don't we done this thing today? Why don't we done this room so Les can get in and start putting the cool stuff in? But uh, it just takes longer than you think it's gonna. It just takes longer. It's electrical time. I've got, this isn't all together. Uh, and I'm definitely getting better at these. You know, you gotta, you, the trick is you've gotta know the size of the hole. So I keep using these Ikea screws because they always say like, for example, this one took a six millimeter bit. And then the back of these guys are always, these old guys are always like just a bar across or something. So it actually works pretty good. Just sits right on there. Yeah, now we just gotta wire it. Time to, to some, install some trim. Doesn't it look nice? Trim just makes such a difference. Uh, and for the most part, we're all square and straight. Now it is an old building and it's not all perfect. If you look down this line, you can see there's, uh-oh, who tiled that? A little bit of a bump there. That was me. And so, what's gonna have to happen is that something's gonna get trimmed because, uh, look, it's, you know, one side's up or the other side's up. So we're gonna have to trim this in the middle. This is where having the right tool is so helpful. And just having a little planer, that's gonna, you know, I'll just take a little bit of wood off there. It's all behind the mirror so no one sees it, but we wanna do a good job in case it's ever exposed. So we'll take a little bit off there and then it'll all be square, it'll all sit flat and it'll all look good. Trim's going in well, and it uh, definitely is helping the house, the room, and this one a little bit hard, it's long, and we're just using glue because we can't, it's difficult to get into the cement. And so we're just, I'm just pressing uh, all these things up to hold it tight while it dries. Just when you think you see the end in sight, at least in terms of painting, you remember, right, these have only been primed on to two coats of windows. <laughs> we have got it started, the inside, and 
the inside. We are partly there, but it never ends, I tell you. Well, I came out to take the recycling out and looks like we have a new street sign. I mean, we knew it was the Rue de Chapelle, the Chapel Street, which is kind of nice. It uh, does go directly to the church, about half a kilometer. Fun, fun, fun. Doing well, and it's time to go grab a light bulb. By the way, isn't this great? Holy Park. That's from the, when it was an amusement park. Uh, we should really upload. We should really upload. There's some uh, cool video ads. Someday we'll upload that to the channel if we're allowed to. So we keep our bulbs in here, and Lord knows we've got some bulbs. Yeah, we've got some bulbs. You, there's a lot of lights in this place, so we got to keep changing them out. So try to find a couple that match. That will work here, and go from there. Um, the wall is not completely straight. And got the electrical bracket all wired up. Isn't that nice? Nice and clean. Can't even see it barely. There it is. It's running up. Into the light, which is powered. Yes. So we got light in the room. That's the good news. Time for the mirror to go back up. It's a Wednesday at 5 o'clock, and I'd love to be done. Are you ready for dinner shower? But I just had some excitement. I turned on the power. I had the uh, new, I had everything installed, everything back up, everything cleaned. And one of the wires must have come loose because it sparks and it clicked off the power to, the, to much of the house. Um, so I walked around to all the different circuit boards and uh, tried to figure out what was blown. And uh, these two guys are both not on. Curiously, this light is still on, and uh, the hallway's on. Here's an example of an old, here's an old fuse box. We don't use these very many. We've, most of our fuse boxes are new, so there's not a lot of power that runs through this, but there's still a couple that, that work. So I gotta try to figure out how to um, tell if that's a good or bad fuse. So it's time to learn. I was so close to dinner, guys. I was almost done for the day. And now I gotta fix it. Arg. Good news, YouTube to the rescue once again. I was trying to figure out how to tell if uh, one of these fuses is blown. Of course, the new one's so easy. Just, you know, you see the one that's clicked down. So to get the whole house power was no problem. I just went to the big board and I found there was actually two that were, were broken. So apparently, and I only have one hand here, so I can't really do it very well, but Apparently what you do is you put the black and the red on this, and then if it's a good fuse, that, one, that one's dead anyways, it'll go to zero. This one is not a good fuse. So actually I found it, if you can imagine that. And what I, what I did is uh, um, I found a good fuse, which is that light, and I took it out, and then I started testing, and the first time I found a dead fuse, I put the good fuse in it, and sure enough, the lights came on. Of course, I have disconnected the electrical device that, that shorted it, right? I've, I've un taken all those wires out, so you know it can't happen again for now. And uh, sure enough, that works. So we're missing one fuse. And I don't know what it's to. We'll walk around and we'll find something off. There, uh, how many of these are in the house? One. Oh, there's at least 10. There's at least 10 boxes. Most, again, the ones we use for the most part are all new, like the last decade. So that's good news, but there are still two boxes like this. That are in use and several that are not in use. Do we try again? Do we dare try again? No, this thing's a lifesaver. This is like a little, it'll tell you if there's power. So there's power there and there's power there, but right now there's no power there because I got it switched off. Now watch if I switch this on. Yeah. So this thing, you know, keeps you alive, honestly. I mean, anytime, anytime I'm working with a light fixture, I'll, 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 I'll turn it off. But then I'll double check with this thing up there to make sure there's no power because obviously I don't want to die. You can definitely understand how, how you could have this problem with the electric electric wires, like because this is some old stuff they got. And probably what happened, probably what happened is I wasn't careful enough and there was like a stray little wire that wasn't inside. We have really good connectors, and, and so I had the really good connectors, sure hearted connectors. And they were on, but probably this guy was a little bit too long and there's maybe a little bit exposed wire or there was a tiny little wire going out and then it touched something else and then it shorted and then, you know, big, big spark. So really glad I wasn't close to it. You know, I'm careful to be away from the fixture when I, when I turn it back on. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll use the good connections again and this time we'll put a little electrical tape on it and we'll be very careful to make sure that we don't make the same mistake. 
All right, just a little foreshadowing. Not gonna show you too much, but we're gonna show you a little foreshadowing. Ooh. We're gonna have it on Sunday. I think we're gonna have the London bathroom video on Sunday in which we go right back to when it was just terrible. So it should be a fun video. All right, time for our weekly meal. And we're celebrating the great meeting with the roofers. Although you're watching this at the end of the video, if you can remember all the way back. We're in the middle of Beaujé. There, of course, the Beaujé Chateau, King René, Loire René. Ooh. And also there's the beautiful courthouse, which has been, they have been working on it. This, isn't that beautiful? Look at that brand new roof. They've refaced the front. They spent a lot of money on it. So, uh, you know, good for them. It can be done. And that means that we're also eating at our favorite restaurant in town, Le Delice du Chateau. We're gonna try some different food and uh, hope it's good. The entree has arrived. I've got the quiche. It looks different, but everything they do here is good. And then Leslie got the gulin. Mm -hmm. that, and that is good. We know that for sure. So we're going to half and half it, I think, today. Very exciting. And of course, the bread. The plat, le plat, le plat has come. The main course. And so I got chicken. Ooh, I got the menu du jour, 15 euro, a little cheaper. And we got one uh, uh, ordering off the menu, and that was the canard. So Leslie's got some duck. Yeah. And what else you got there with the duck? I don't know, it's some kind of puree. It tastes good though. Yeah, I love the flowers too, isn't it, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, lots of fun. Bon appetit. The sauce is outstanding. Mm. It's outstanding sauce for chicken. What is it? And so is the orange stuff, right? Mm hmm. We're not even still good. not sure what it is, but it tastes fantastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's oh, my favorite. If the creme brulee, it's on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless he's very generously gave me the creme brulee. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at it. You can see it. Oh. Yep. And then panna cotta. That looks fantastic too, actually. It does. And by the way, in case anyone is keeping score at home, that was sweet potatoes. Was the sweet potatoes was the accompaniment to the canard, the duck. Very tasty. Very tasty. I think it's good too. And it's, you know the little things like this that make French cuisine so wonderful. Say magnifique. You know the, the drizzle and the little. Cut out flowers. Oh, it's all tasty. Garnish. How's yours best? It's great. Is it tasty? Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So good. Okay, we hope you enjoy this video. And uh, remember, Sunday we're going to have the London bathroom in all its glory. And we're going to have Leslie uh, take you through it. She's going to kind of give you the guided tour and explain her decisions. And, uh, uh, and, and in case you didn't know, she is a designer. She has a business in the United States. And, and man, oh man. Uh, she makes like five times more than I do an hour. Like if our goal was to get rich, we probably shouldn't have had me teach. We should have just had her design and I could have been the supportive husband, but there it is. But she's fantastic. And, uh, and, and so I think you'll enjoy hearing from what she has to say. Okay. See you Sunday. Thanks for coming.